I forgot my intro again. Uh, Biscuits from Heaven, back with another video. And um, PlayStation, I don't know what the, what's happening. I like wake up to Twitter. I see like five consecutive PlayStation tweets. I'm like, okay, it's going down. It's a Sony Direct. It's not Sony Direct or it won't be the equivalent of a Nintendo Direct for Sony. So I don't know what this is. I don't know why it just happened to choose this random Monday or Tuesday to just drop a lot of stuff. But I figured I would try to, you know, cover some of the big stuff uh, that I saw and then just keep it moving. So number one, uh, this is the latest tweet. Latest? 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 Latest tweet. Uh, so this is, I've never, never seen this before. I don't know what this game is. Apparently it's like, I guess, playing homage to older taxi type games. Uh, I would say one thing, I've, I always like Sony's Twitter for how usually concise they make these videos. It's pretty much just a, a wild, zany drop-off video. Um, reminds me of Simpsons uh, Hit and Run, uh, which either Simpsons Hit and Run or the other one that came out like the same year that didn't allow you to do the Fall type things. Because if you, if you owned a PlayStation 2, there were two Simpsons games that came out around 2005, 2004, 2006, somewhere at that time. And one is the one everybody remembers, which I believe is actually Simpsons in the run, where it's like Grand Theft Auto-esque uh, in that you could drive, you also do other stuff. But there's another one that's a scaled-down version that literally only lets you drive, and like, you could hit stuff, but it was like very limited. There's like some missions, but it's just mainly the aspect of it was just driving around and just kind of messing around. And it appears to be the objective of this game. So Taxi Chaos looks like a decent game. Uh, this is the Tony Hawk uh, reboot, I believe. Or not reboot, but a remaster. Um, I mean, honest to God, uh, it's going to be tough to get anybody up for this. Uh, it comes before Skate 4. I think that's the only thing saving it. <laughs> and when, once Skate 4 drops, it's over with the Skate games for the remainder of ever. I believe Skate is also designed by EA, um, like the old Skate games was were. Uh, a lot of people are timid about giving modern EA any kind of hope or chance. I think, you know, I'm, I was kind of the same way with NCAA. Uh, the new NCAA is to come out in probably, I think, the next three years or something, something to that effect. And I do believe EA has sub studios and and sub teams that can put out a good product still now i think the bottom line the margin has ruined um uh, madden i think it's from what i understand it's hurt fifa a little bit uh i think it's definitely hurts on their products uh almost killed battlefront day one but i do believe they can still put out a good game um the i think it's the old republic or whatever like that that latest star wars game was with the dude who's supposed to be like part jedi part like dark uh dark side you know he was that that was that was a good game with a good protagonist good development everything no microtransactions uh they can still play a good game i believe so i think skate 4 is gonna be worth watching or worth looking out for if you want an idea of how skate 4 might look like remastered 4k HDR Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Shout out to Tony Hawk. <laughs> Alright, so this is the one that obviously caught my eye a little bit. Phantom Strikers. I think it's, it's Persona 5 Strikers. I thought it was called Phantom Strikers. Persona 5 Strikers. The Muso esque, um, like, kind of like side branching path of Persona 5. We have Persona 5 Royal, which I think everybody uh, liked that quite a bit. Uh, you know, just the Steel Book Edition. Uh, this is pretty much the true spinoff to P5, the OG. But this game, which is at $60, that's tough. That's tough. That's a tough sale. $60 uh, for a Muso game. But from what I understand, from what I've seen, it's not your traditional Muso game. Uh, it, it, it's closer to, like, the turn-based RPG than it would be, like, say, Dynasty Warriors. Um, 
I don't know. I, I'm, I'm interested in, because, you know, obviously we went to Switch, it was scaled down. And people say it's a perfect... I mean, like, I've seen nothing but good replies to it. I don't care about the Switch version. I mean, it's on Steam. That's what, that's crazy. So apparently Atlas is brought on to Steam, too, which is amazing. Um, Strikers reviews are out now. Um... Let's see. Let's read a little bit. So, the, for PlayStation 4, it has an 84, which is the highest of the three scores. That's obviously you would... I mean, it's, it's more unlocked. You would expect that to be the case. And then this is their... Um, this is their trailer, uh, Atlas. Let's turn up a little bit. Hopefully, I, don't, I can't get copyright struck. I think I have Lind in the intro for this, too. I mean, that's similar art style. A P5R, by the way, if you haven't played P5R, it's a gorgeous fucking game on, like, HDR and, um, uh, even 1080, but 4K, you know, it does its thing. I mean, this is very simple. Like, this is not just a simple Muso game. Like, this is, in my opinion, it's pretty much almost one-to-one -one with the way you would normally get around in a dungeon in a normal persona. It's just kind of more, you know, it appears to be more, like, button oriented like doing things like the buttons are more important but for some people this game plan is going to be more free i mean i think it's still turn-based elements for when i gather but it's going to be more it's going to be less pull up on the villain then you have to and have to like take that and have a separate and i mean lower times are are far better in the in p5r but just saying like you know you won't, you'll have less of the separation and time dedicated towards these certain acts. It appears to be way more free-flowing is what I kind of mean to say. I like this. I mean, I, I honest to God, I, I don't know if I like it better in term, to turn base because of how nostalgic that factor is, but I I like this. I mean, it looks to be about as good as P5. I, I have to see what better... I mean, this video is obviously processed to hell. It's not even high quality, but... I mean, it, it looks good. Uh, this is, I will honestly gotta tell you, this is probably the best looking um, uh, Dynasty Warriors type game, Muso type game I've ever seen. Now, there's some other elements of it that I have not even seen touched on. Like, is this... Does it still have confidence? I think it does have confidence. I think I actually have read that before. It does have confidence. So it has confidence from what I understand. Um, it has... Uh, two new people. Um, it has that chick you seen in the beginning, like the uh, Big Hero Sits type. Her right there, the red hair. She's unique to this game. That's not. That's not. Um, what's her name? Um, the 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 girl from P Five R. She's original, and then that guy with the long hair who um looks like a fucking cult uh member. Uh, that motherfucker. He's also uh, new to this. He looks like she looks like Eva from uh from Wally. -E. <laughs> That's who she looks like. All right, so we'll move off that. Obviously, you can tell I like Persona Five. Uh, I like Persona. You know, I'm gonna dedicate a lot of time to that. So here, um, Tiny Chan, I believe he was in the last World Series. If I was San Diego Padres, never mind. Um, I've heard his name in the news recently. I don't know what. It, I think he signed a new deal, something to that effect. So I guess this is just like timing. Um, it will be the show is a, um, I believe it was a former Sony exclusive, and it was a very big deal getting another one of these going from what I saw on the internet. I, I don't follow baseball games. My brother does. Uh, so I kind of at least see them every once in a while when I'm back home, but never really been a baseball guy, especially a baseball video game guy. But it's cool that I think this came back for the first time in a couple of years. And they have the... Next generation of VR, which I believe I don't have pulled up because I didn't give a shit about VR, but we'll pull that up. And uh, yeah, this is from yesterday. Um, Sophia, that that's that's her name, Sophia. Yeah, Sophia. So she's oh she's, she's like um she's like the modern version of um I I guess I guess from Persona Three, which is a a classic game, Persona Three. So yeah, I, I I guess you know it wasn't really much bigger than your typical um, Black Ops Cold War. So what 
So I've never, I've, I don't own Black Ops Cold War. So if what this, do they make zombies into like a, a, a battle royale? Is that what they've done with this franchise? Because it doesn't look like a traditional like zombies mode. I'm an old head. The last, last Call of Duty I own was Modern Warfare 3. Um, and the last one I played is like Black Ops. Either Black Ops 2 or um, Infinity Warfare, I think. So it's been a minute. But it seems they've made it into a a, um, a battle royale, which is... I don't know how I feel about that, but it appears to be very successful. All right, so I think that's about it. I mean, we could touch on, on this other stuff. So Sony giving uh, Ratchet & Clank PS4 for free. Uh, Alpha Free and Entertainment last minute. Last several months of lockdown. Okay. Play at home effort. I forgot about that. I don't think I took a lot of advantage of that. Um, but, you know, that's cool. I think Ratchet & Clank was a PlayStation Plus game a couple years back. Um, and, yeah, uh, the... What is pretty much, I think, the first true PS5, like, big-name launch title they've hyped up in the previous E3s and other miscellaneous events. Rift Apart, I think, is pretty much their first big one. I mean, they had the Spider-Man game, which doesn't fucking count, but this is pretty much the first big one, and uh, I would think it's the first standalone PS5 game. I don't think it's a... I don't think Rift Apart is coming to PS4, if I think, if I'm correct about that. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure... <laughs> so yeah I, I made down with that I've heard good things about that game I heard good things about the movie that came out along with it I just never uh, did it Journey was free oh I didn't know that see I'm telling you I didn't pay attention to it this last time I am not a, I'm not a I'm not a gamer <coughs> fuck that is unfortunate I always wanted to, I, I have Journey, <laughs> I have Journey on my PS4, I just thought about that shit, I already have Journey, like, what am I talking about, <laughs> I've never played it, <laughs> I don't play games, man, I downloaded it, I don't even play games, um, let's see if they, like, said anything else they don't have, to Ratchet and Clank, you can keep it forever, 2016, uh, our friends at Funimation, uh, yeah, I think they bought Funimation, they even bought Funimation, they bought Crunchyroll, uh, extended assets uh, for new subscribers of Funimation in the country that are available. Uh, Funimation. What does that mean? Extended assets for new subscribers. So that means you get like your your contract extended, I guess. Like if you want it one month, you can get like two months, maybe another month for free. That's cool. I mean, Sony has their fucking like hand in, I think, both. I think it own country run. They have their hand in Funimation, if I remember correctly. Uh, which the difference between those two concepts, I don't fucking know. I thought I thought it was the same fucking thing. I thought I thought Crunchyroll owned Funimation, but evidently I don't know. Cause I mean, all these shows, like you can see that show on Crunchyroll, you can see that show on Crunchyroll. I know you can't see who's pointing to it. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you can see Dead Man Wonderland on Crunchyroll. God damn, Dead Man Wonderland. That's if you, I, I know I'm getting off topic at this point. If you want to see just a fucking zany ass anime and like how kind of off kilter anime gets when you get away from shonen um damn it wonderland is like a good dip into the uh the proverbial pool of crazy ass shit and the thing is i saw this shit on adult swim i didn't even see this shit in full nsfw quality and then the final thing uh a new G uh, vr system don't give a shit about vr so that's about it uh okay hope this wasn't too laggy it probably was OBS, why the fuck is your shit so damn laggy for fucking um, Big Sur, Big Slur, the latest MacBook update? Fuck you. Look at this. I moved my hand five seconds ago and this shit just finished. Fuck me.